Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a MAC collection lip swatch video. Now this is such an old school YouTube video to film, but I don't care because I just want to do it. I feel like it would be a fun little video to do. Also, I don't tend to reach for lipsticks anymore. I don't know if anyone else is the same. I'm very much a lip liner and a lip gloss girl and I just don't reach them so I thought this would be a really good way for me to look at my MAC lipsticks and find out what shades I have. We're gonna just go through and swatch them all so if you haven't done so already please sure subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos from me. Let's just get started. I haven't tried a lot of these out. The advent calendar ones I don't think I've tried at all. So I've now organised them into like darkest to lightest and also category so you've got amplified cream you've got satin and you've got matte so that's the order I'm going to do them in because obviously the matte will be the hardest to take off my lips so I'm going to start with the amplified cream ones because they are just creamy lip, lip, lip lipsticks so we're going to start with amplified so the first one we're going to try is put on is Cosmo I have used this one a lot I love this lipstick I this is the one that I will reach for if I'm going to use any of my MAC lipsticks is Cosmo it's a really pretty like pinky color I don't know we'll see when it's on my lips Oh my god, I love the smell of matte lipsticks so much. It's really weird not having my lips overlined. <laughs> it's such a pretty colour. I love this. This is the one, like I said, I do reach for this one if I'm going to reach for any of them. I hate it when lipsticks go like this. I used to mo moan at mum for it and now the, my, my MAC ones have done it. This colour, let me zoom you in a little bit actually. I feel like that would be better. That, like, I love this colour. It's such like a easy summer colour. Like, I feel like it looks so pretty. And also, I, these amplified creams are amazing because they're like... They're glossy, they look so nice. I've got nothing on my lips but this and it looks so glossy and lovely. We have Brick Ola. I actually love this colour too. I've used this one quite a bit. Not as much. This one is very, very, very similar to the previous one, just red. It's an amplified cream, the exact same as the other one. It is just red and I love this. Oh my God, they all smell so good. These amplified creams are so creamy. I hate putting on creamy lipsticks without a liner on. I love this colour. It's obviously like quite red, but again, I still feel like it is a colour you can wear like summertime because I think just because it has got that glossiness to it it does just mean that like, you can see it on the bullet like it has like a sheen to it like after I've applied it to my lips because it melts a little bit like it's definitely got a very very melty feel to it so pretty oh my gosh I'm obsessed with these all right next up we now have the three I've not tried this one is girl about town amplified cream lipstick oh God, these are so cute this is a bright pink color yeah i can tell this has not been used before because like it's got more like tension to it when i'm pulling it well on my lips it still feels the same but like in the bullet because it's not warmed up like the others are don't get me wrong i do love colors like this but i do feel like i can't decide one i thought they make your teeth look yellow but two i feel like these colors look nicer when they're matte but you know what for an amplified cream this isn't as shiny and creamy as the other two i don't know if you've noticed it maybe it's because it's like not been used so the product is not as warmed up so it's brand new but it feels just as creamy on my lips maybe a little bit more thicker the others feel a bit more creamier but maybe it's because they've just been used so much more this is actually a really really stunning color next one we have dubonet i don't know it's another one i'll show you it so you can see the name let me know how you say this can you read it i don't know if you can see it oh this is like a definitely autumnal color this is gonna i think this is gonna be a lovely autumnal color we will see this again feels quite thick like the um one i just done this makes me really excited for autumn and winter i'm so excited for autumn and winter now like, I, I know it sounds so bad so this is the one I'm earlier we're literally going on a cruise on tuesday it's currently saturday and i'm starting to get excited for christmas this color is actually really really pretty i like this color a lot i feel like it's a very wearable red i really like it this is beautiful okay so now we're going to go on to satins we've got one two three four five satins i have the viva glam 2 satin which is i love the packaging of it but it's just not my vibe on color but you know we live we move imagine i like this color now I never used to like this colour. Like I bought it and as you can see it's barely been used because it just wasn't for me. But it is lovely to put in the inner to like lighten a lip up. But I've never used it as a lipstick. This is going to be between what I just had on and a matte. It's not going to be as mattifying as a matte. It's still creamy feeling. But it's going to be more matte looking. This colour is just not for me. It's just not for me. It's like foundation lips. But, like I said, if you put this in, like, the middle of, like, a lip to lighten it, it would be lovely. Or if you had, like, a brown lip liner on and you just put a little bit of this to make, like, an ombre lip, this is perfect. As a lipstick on its own, it's dreadful. I hate it. Getting this off swiftly because I don't like it. Now we have a satin lip in Brave. I love this. This is my 
probably one of my most used it's like my perfect i love a mauve like mauvey pinky colors are my favorite so this was my work lipstick in 2019 with max saw lip liner actually this was my lip max saw lip liner in this this is stunning but with a lip liner i love this lipstick because of the lip liner making it a bit darker the lipstick on its own is beautiful but for me i need that lip liner just to deepen it up a little bit and give it a bit more dimension imagine this but a little bit warmer a little bit darker that's my perfect color now we are on to captive this one i've not worn that much i got it as a present again gonna be quite autumnal i reckon it's like a purple so i got this for my 16th birthday and i remember when i got it like i loved it but i just never wore it because imagine a 16 year old wearing this color maybe nowadays but not when i was 16 in 2016 actually i will say now i think i prefer this to brave i think this is more my color than brave is this would be like an everyday color for me i love it that is stunning i need to wear this in autumn this is a beautiful color now we are on to twig i've not ever tried this one again satin it's a mini one so i've not tried it yet it's a very neutrally color i think i've seen a lot of people talk about this i think this was also one of the really famous ones I think this was the next shade 16 year old me wanted this is also like i prefer this to brave like this is such a pretty color it's so nice i love the satin i think mac satin lipsticks are my favorites if not the cream ones amplify creams but i think i prefer when it comes to like a matte look i think i prefer the satins to the cream the, the mattes because they look matte but they feel creamy so it's like nice last satin then we're on to fully matte <laughs> this one is del rio so this is like a deeper color i don't even know what sort of shade this is going to be i guess like a brownie sort of color I don't know why people don't buy MAC lipsticks anymore. They're so good. And I know what people would say. People would say, like, it's because there's better out there. And don't get me wrong, there probably is. But, like, I've just put that on, and that's a deep shade, and it's not patchy. And I feel like, like, lipsticks, especially when they're dark, they're so easy to go patchy. I love MAC lipsticks. I think they're amazing. They're so pretty. So this one is kind of sexy. I also don't like this one. I've never used it. It is very light. It's again like the other Fever Glam, but just a bit darker. But I do feel like I'll see how it looks, but I feel like it's gonna be another one where I like it on the inside. MAC matte lipsticks are still so creamy. They just look drier on the lip, but they feel the same. Like MAC lipsticks to me, whether they're satin or they're matte, they actually feel the exact same. Like creaminess on my lips. Like this feels the same as the satin ones when I'm like like this. It's the exact same. It's just to the look, it's matter. I hate this but again it's good to put in the center and if you've got like a dark lip liner on you can make this work but it just isn't good for like on its own without a lip liner but I do want to get this off my lips ASAP because I don't like it <laughs> next we have Velvet Teddy the classic the well-loved it's actually probably not my most loved I don't know which one probably is probably brave this is like the OG I think this might have been my first MAC lipstick it probably was let's be real I bet I don't like this now I bet you it's too light I don't like it I don't like this colour. Again, this colour would look lovely if you had liner on. But we didn't wear liner. We used to wear it like this. Do you know what? It's actually borderline okay. I just really don't like the greyness of it on my skin tone. I feel like it looks really like... It doesn't do anything for me. It's okay. I think I would definitely have to wear lip liner with this. Now we are on to Whirl. Another one of my favourites. I loved this colour because it was like darker. Oh, this is very cool toned. 16 year old me loved a cool tone lipstick. Ugh. I feel like cool tone lipsticks don't suit me now. So much more grey than it looks in the tube, I feel like. Maybe not. Again, I feel like if I had like a really warm lip liner on, maybe I could make this work, but I don't like this at all. It looks a bit warmer on camera, actually. In person, it looks really grey. I'm not a fan of the whole grey vibe. It's actually more brown. It's like a brown grey. I did not realise well look like this. Then I have taupe. This is a new one. I've not tried taupe yet. This one looks a bit warmer. So we might be lucky. This one looks a bit better. I've not tried this. This was also, this has not been tried like even swatched. This is brand new. So this must have been in the advent calendar in 2021. And the others were from 2020. This is a better colour. This is what I thought well looked like. But apparently not. I don't think you'd ever see me wearing well and well at Teddy now. But you'd definitely see me wearing this. I like this colour a lot. That's a really, really, really pretty colour. Even without any lip liner or anything, that is actually stunning. I love that. That's so... Because it's warm. Like, I need the warmth. Like, it makes my skin look so much more alive when my lips have warm colour on them. It's just so much nicer. It has got, like, a little reddish, I guess, because it's, like, a brownish, warmish, reddish colour. Like, I feel like this is this would be really nice, like, all year round, actually. Okay, next up, we have Meh. I have two of them. This is my old one, as you can see. I might actually use the new one because I want to try and see if it will push it back down because what's happened is the top, the lipstick isn't like stuck in the bottom. It's like come off. So I'm hoping if I like use it, it'll push it, push it down a little bit. 
I love that. It's definitely more cooler than I thought it was. I'm seeing that as a theme with my MAC lipsticks that I own. A lot of them are a lot more cooler than I realised. I thought they were going to be warmer shades, but they're not. But still so pretty. Love that colour. That's another, that's, this is probably what I meant earlier when I said, when we had Brave on, and I was like, something slightly warmer and a bit darker. That's this. This is like my perfect, perfect mauve colour. Like, this is perfection for me. I love this colour. Three, four, five, six left. On to this one, which is an interesting one. This one is... The Devoted to Chili Powder Kiss Lipstick, which I'm so I'm assuming it's MAC it looks like the most insane matte ever. But I'm going to include it in here because it's the only one I have of these. Very interesting. This is like, it's got matte packaging. Ooh, ooh, that's a weird texture. It's very creamy, but it kind of feels like nothing. I get why it's called Powder Kiss. It definitely has that powdery look to it. Like with the matte ones, this looks like more matte than the satins, obviously. But it doesn't look as matte as the mattes, even though it's not called matte, it's called powder kiss. But it kind of does have that powdery look to it. Because if you actually look at it, it has got like an oranginess. So I do feel like this one would actually be really good for like any time of year. Because it's not super like dark. Chili. Which these are matte, obviously. So it's like a little red one. These are all red because these were, like I said, these were in the advert calendar. So it's kind of like a theme you can see. Oh, it's more orange than I expected so moisturising. Really, really pretty colour. I expected that, like, looking at it, I didn't expect it to be as orangey as it is. Obviously, it kind of does look it, but I have lights coming at me, so when I look at it in front, it just looks dark. But even there, like, I guess you can see, like, it's got, like, a brick colour, but I was expecting it to be more brick than it is red, like, orangey rather. Like, it's definitely got a really strong orange undertone. Again, this is one I actually think you could wear in, like, spring, because it has got that orange to it. I think when there's like an orange underneath, you can wear it like springtime. But you can wear any lipstick whenever, obviously. Now we are on to Russian Red. This is a very popular one, I think. I don't know this compared to Ruby Woo. I think Ruby Woo is a blue red, and I think this is like a more orange red, so, but not as orangey as the last one. I think it's more like a pure red, but orange undertone. Ruby Woo is blue undertone. But um, don't quote me on that. We will see when we put it on next. I don't know, this is a really, really pretty red though. I just can't figure out what undertone of red this is. You'll have to let me know. Because to me, I feel like it's quite a neutral undertone. It's kind of got the blue tinge to it, but it's also got like an orange tinge. I love that. That's very pretty. That's a Christmas Day colour. That is a Christmas Day colour. On to Ruby Woo, which I'm very excited to try. This is his retro matte lipstick, so I don't know if that makes a difference. The other ones are just matte. Oh, this is like matte matte. I don't know how I feel about this. This is like hard to put on. It's not as creamy at all, and yes, it is blue. It's not as creamy. Don't get me wrong, when it's on your lips, it's nice. Like, doing that, it has got a nice texture. And it does feel like it's going to stay put quite well. I can't lie. It feels like it wants to stay on your lips. But, like, I just didn't expect it to be as matte and drying as that when you put it on. This feels very, like, matte. Like, this feels like it's going to stay put and not come off. And, like, I I mean, it's not going to... It is going to come off if I did, like, a, a test. But it's definitely blue. It's a blue-red. It's definitely not an orangey-red. I quite like this. I can't tell what I prefer on me. You have to let me know what you prefer. I think I prefer Russian Red to Ruby Woo on me. I think it suits me more. I think this washes me out a bit more. This is very, like, blue and bright. I think I prefer the more warm red. Next we have Diva. And Diva is actually a really pretty colour, I'm pretty sure. It's like a deep vampire berry red. Um, I haven't worn it in a while, so I'm very excited to see, actually, if it's cool-toned or warm-toned. I think it's quite... Maybe it's neutrally. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh my god, I'm making such a mess of it though, because it's so dark. So much better when you have a lip liner. <laughs> but it's fine, you can still see how it looks. It's like a dark colour. It's not patchy. Like, this is what I'm saying. This is like, normally the colour I go for for Christmas. I normally go for this colour, not red, because I feel like this is so, like, berry and Christmassy. And I do feel like, because it's warm, it's purpley, it really suits me. I love this colour. Diva is so pretty. I love this colour. So. Colour Stone. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm excited to see actually how it looks on me now, though, as like an adult, it'd be funny. <laughs> oh my god. This is just dreadful. Who let me wear this out at 16? Why? Why? What made me think this was nice? What is happening here? I don't like this at all. This is so bad. I need to take it off right now and put something else on. Right, we're back to being juicy again. <laughs> I kind of had you zoomed in for the whole video. Hopefully that was fine. I mean, I don't know if it was too much zoomed in, but I want you to see my lips for the colour. So we've swatched all of them. So I think we can say the favourite was meh. All the reds, actually. I liked all of the reds. Especially all the... I liked all the amplifieds, obviously. Not so much the lighter ones, but 
I really really enjoyed that because it made me realize that I really do like wearing a bullet lipstick and I really enjoyed my matte lipsticks actually so definitely have to start wearing them again so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe like and comment let me know what ideas you have down below and I'll see you in my next video bye